Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 28 for our PCNSA series. So as friends, I have already covered all the topics re related to app ID and I wanted to show you about YouTube blocking or blocking certain action or in Facebook blocking some some of the actions like action in sense, let's say I want to block Facebook chat. So this can only be possible once we do SSL decryption. It is not possible without it. So for that reason, we need to understand how SSL decryption works. Now to understand SSL decryption, I have divided this particular topic into two parts. First is to build a base and then we'll do the lab with understanding about SSL decryption. So in this foundation video, what I'm going to do is we are going to understand the basics of an SSL, right? So in this video, I'm going to cover what is HTTP or SSL. Okay. What is certificate? How exactly that certificate works like the PKI infra, how exactly it works, public key infra. Okay. What is certificate chain and what is self-signed certificate? It is very much important. This is very common uh, terms that will be asked in the interview questions guys so i am recommending you guys to watch this video till the end so that you can understand this concept to build your foundation as well as it basically helps you in the interview as well so please watch this video till then also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me so without any further delay let's get started so friends, let's understand what is an HTTP or SSL connection. Okay. So whenever you try to access any of the website, let's say it is HTTPS colon www.google.com. When you try to go to this particular website, right? There is a two ways. One we can go with HTTP and another is HTTPS. Now, with the help of this particular diagram, you try to understand the sample packet capture of those traffic. Now, when you see HTTP, right, you can see which website I'm going, what, how my request looks like, everything you can see, right? You can see that I'm going to packetlive.net or something like that what what are the information that I'm going to get from that web server everything that you can see right here but when you see the HTTPS request can you see what exactly that is happening you can just see certificate certificate here but you cannot understand what kind of request it is okay so HTTPS basically it provides a security of the traffic which is going from client to the server server can be www.google.com so when a client is going to google.com okay it should be secure why it needs to be secure let's understand let's say you're doing you're not going to uh, google.com you're going to a bank.com right now at bank.com we are doing some transaction if somebody is sitting in between and capturing your traffic right they can understand they can they can see your passwords they can see your account number they can see your username and they can log into your bank website and they can log in and they can use of it right so to protect that particular information what we do we use HTTPS to secure the traffic. Now, HTTP or SSL, both are same. There is no difference between it, right? So how exactly the, the HTTP or HTTPS, the difference between only the S, which stands for security. So what is HTTPS? HTTPS, nothing but it Pro, it provides security to your communication between client to the server. It provides a security to your communication which is happening from source to destination. That's all. Okay. So friends, let's understand what is certificate and how exactly it works. 
uh, with the help of this particular image we'll try to understand more about it okay now let's understand the certificate certificate is nothing but an identity right now identity can be anything in any field or any conditions so let's say for example i did pcnsa certification which is offered by palo alto and palo alto once i complete the examination if i pass i'll get a certificate right now that certificate give me an identity that i am an engineer for palo alto firewall as simple as that same way now i have a passport right if i want to prove my identity i'll show my uh, passport that basically provide my name address my date of birth my photos everything right same way let's say on digital world if a pc is trying to access some of the website right how can i ensure that i'm connecting to the right website okay now certificate will help us to get to the right website now how it will work let's let's try to understand when i try to access a website website will give me a certificate he'll say please verify my certificate now the certificate will look like this i have lot of parameter to understand certificate but i'm just talking about two parameters over here for now okay now it says that the certificate has been issued to google.com so i went to www.google.com simple so it says that this certificate is issued to google.com which is fine now that certificate is valid or not so i can see it is valid till march 31st and today is 26th january so what does it mean it means that it is it the validity is not expired and i have got the right certificate and the website who has given me the certificate i can trust him that i'm connecting or connecting to the right website so this is how the certificate will play a very important role over here that ensures that we are conne uh, connecting to the right website guys here i am not talking about any ssl uh, uh, tunnel or ssl decryption or a handshake or something right we i am just building the foundation okay it is just a foundation understanding all the topics how exactly and what are the topics are and then in the uh, next video i am going to cover how ssl decryption work encryption works ssl um, handshake works everything i'll be explaining over there okay so it is it is just a building of uh, ssl understanding okay so friends now we will understand what is certificate chain with the help of this particular image we'll try understand more right now as i was given example of passport right so let's say if i give my passport to anybody they can get to know my no name address date of birth my image my photos and all now this password how can i validate this password is correct or not it has to be given by government and i should also trust that particular government then only i this passport is valid otherwise it is not same way if i get a certificate from google.com how can i verify that this certificate is good where the certificate chain comes into the picture now if you see the certificate hierarchy it's been issued by or it's been issued by wr2 gts root 1 and basically this is hierarchy now let's understand the hierarchy let's say for an example <clears throat> you studied btech right you get a degree degree will be given by university university is approved by government right so who is the root root is the government who can issue the certificate like who is the authority who gives certificate university to you same way we have something called as root server then we have ca servers 
हु कैन इश्यू द सर्टिफिकेट और इंटरमीडिएट सी एस आर ऑल्सो देयर बट आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट सी एस एवर राइट नाउ सो रूट सी ए एंड सी ए कैन इश्यू द सर्टिफिकेट सेम वे दिस इज रूट दिस इज सी ए कैन इश्यू सर्टिफिकेट टू गूगल डॉट कॉम एज सिंपल एज दैट सो आई शूड ट्रस्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर रूट देन ओनली दिस सर्टिफिकेट विल बी वैलिड एज सिंपल एज दैट सो no matter whatever the root cas are there or root uh, companies are there like if i give an example of amazon microsoft dg cert godaddy very sign there are so many companies are there now all those companies root certificate will be there in the browser if it is not there basically that is not existed so it will be there in your browser so the browser will check whether that certificate is there or not let's say for an example if somebody comes or goes to usa for working now he has given his all education documents and all now if i'm not trusting indian government how can i trust those certificates right so us need to trust india same way the browser needs to trust this particular root because we are accessing the web ser- web server from browser itself right so browser needs to trust this now where the certificates will be saved inside the pc itself okay and that will be populated towards browser no matter what kind of browser that using chrome firefox opera safari whatever it is internet explorer edge or something okay so this is how the certificate chain will be the certificate chain meaning that this hierarchy has to be there i can show you this certificate will be there in the browser i will show you just remember this gts root r1 okay i'll just open the certificate so let's open the browser okay let's go to settings i'll just try to find out certificate view certificate and if you go to authorities i'll just search for google gts gts g4 gts gtg okay uh okay see gts root r1 right this is the certificate that you can see gts r1 and it is here so it is there if you view the certificate it is basically this root ca right so until and unless i trust this particular root i will not be able to trust this certificate as simple as that okay so if i'm if i want to trust those btech certificates i need to trust the india government because indian government will issue or have university and university will issue certificate to the candidates same way the i'm just correlating with the real world example okay now let's understand what is self sign certificate guys okay so friends let's understand what is self sign certificate so i was giving an example of btech degree so btech degree was issued by university and it was the university was approved by the government as simple as that this looks very fine now let's say you claim that you are a btech degree holder and you have completed the curriculum everything but you have no certificate nobody will trust you right nobody will trust you that you are a btech holder candidate it basically comes into the pki environment where the certificate comes into the play that pki environment public key infra it is also applicable the same way so there are two type of root cas one root cas which is basically public and one root ca which is private 
Now let's say for an example in your organization there are multiple servers are there where you want to apply certificate okay now you have thousands thousand servers and thousand nodes where you want to apply the certificate now if you try to buy the thousand certificate i'll just show you an example when you go and try to buy a certificate let's say i'm just i'm trying to buy a certificate so cert buy i want to buy a ssl certificate i go here now it says that there is multiple type of certificate is there okay single let's say single domain okay so what is that 600 or sorry 6 dollar per year okay now if you renew it this one and if you go further this is personal this is business let's say if i go for business what is the 20 dollar per year now renews at 20 so if you have 1000 just think about and calculate the mathematics and you will get to know the numbers how many how much they will charge but if you have your own environment inside your organization you don't need to pay any money you just need to create that particular setup that's all you can make windows server as a root ca there is no problem because to access this you need internal user to access they are communicating to each other you don't need any public intervention over here okay so let's say if you are a btech holder i'm just correlating with the real world okay if you are a btech holder you can basically create your own company your own organization startup kind of thing and build your own thing what you want to build okay nobody will ask you whether you are a degree holder or not but if you are going in a public to work you have to have a certificate same way if you have a public servers that needs to be accessed by external users from outside to inside you have to have a public certificate otherwise in this particular pc if you are giving a self signed certificate they are not trustable they will say it it i'm not trusting this certificate in the browser that certificate will not be there because it is not public let's say for an example if you are issuing a self signed certificate to a public server so in that particular case the browser will not trust and will give a error of it so for that for public servers you need to have a public certificate as well okay so you understand the difference between a self signed certificate and a certificate which is issued by public root ca right so this is the basic understanding of an ssl first we understand what is ssl what is certificate how we are going to trust that certificate and what is self signed certificate so we have understood the difference between it right now we are going to understand how ssl handshake works ssl or http or tls whatever it is how exactly it works in upcoming video so if you this is what i wanted to cover in this particular video thank you so much for watching till the end i also request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see these kind of videos i have created a so many videos related to palo alto fortigate load balancers asa so many thing and there are lot to come in upcoming days so i will request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me thank you guys i'll see you in the next